What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, John for the Game Day here. Welcome you back to another episode of the Saga Log. We are out here. We are having a good time. And honestly, I don't know what to do. I'm lost in the way of, like, how in the world I'm going to build this team. I didn't edit the layout, but it's fine. I I evolved Tentacool. So Tentacool is now a Tentacool. Um, but it's ability. <laughs> it's ability, guys. Um... So, I don't know if this is good or bad. I mean, it's not. I mean, I know it's not good, but, like, I don't know if I would say this is, like, worse than, well, we all know. Like, true on and stuff like that. Like, obviously, if it was true on, it would be really bad. But I'd classify this as pretty bad. It has <laughs> poison to heal as an ability, which is literally a nothing ability. <laughs> so, it's got nothing as an ability with... Bubble Sludge defend order over the lovely kiss because honestly 75% accurate I don't trust it it's just I'm not really a big fan of those 75% accurate moves so I decided that I was going to move away from it get defend order to be more tanky and yeah so team is level like 30s um, roundabouts so I'm hoping that that works out for us it could go horribly wrong it could be fine We'll never know. Um, also, why was I going to lead with this? I want to lead with... Uh, you know what? We'll lead with him. Well, uh, no, we won't. Because I don't... Tr I, I can't trust Bubble to actually be... I can't trust Bubble. Like, if I can learn a better move than Bubble, then yes, of course. It's like the first thing on the agenda. Then it's like, okay, well, we can do things. We don't have to worry about things. And yeah, let's go for it. Also, we can buy Hyper Potions at this point in the game. But I'm not going to yet. I don't. I don't see the value in them at this current state. Um, I'm sure there will become value in them here later. But as of now, I don't see the current value. I don't think you can buy those anymore, unfortunately, because <laughs> I would love to sell them, but you don't let me. Um, Leaf stone, metal plate, poison barb, guard of four. I you can't sell those either. Um. We really do not have a lot of things that we can sell. Which could prove to be really bad. Also realize we did not have the Rocky Helmet on a Pokemon. Whoopsies. And we also haven't used our uh, our stuff yet. Oh. These plates. I don't... Oh, it says that will sell because that's $4,800. We don't have a psychic type yet. Um... Star piece that's 5k. We'll sell that. Safety goggles that that's not too big of a deal. Great ball skyblade. Okay. I still don't think I'm gonna buy hyper potions with that amount of money. So yeah, I'm just gonna save the money and run. But I need to get the rocky helmet on our freaking uh, Garbodor because my butt forgot. Even though that was literally something I was super hype about. The, oh my gosh, Rocky Helmet on Garbodor. That's going to be so good. And I just never freaking used it. Good job, me. But yeah, let's go ahead and take on our person that we got to take on today. Lucario, oh my gosh, what are you doing? Oh, hey, aren't you that trainer that I met at Route 5? Wow. Not exactly sure, but I think Lucario is saying he wants to battle you. Would you like to battle with us? I have two Lucarios, but do you know which one is the one that's taking a shrine to you? I don't know. Maybe the one that moved. <laughs> I'm going to take a guess and say the one that moved. Um. Oh, is my, my music's down. Interesting. It's not down in this. Why? What? I wonder why it's. Oh, now it's off. Now I can't hear it at all. Odd. That's actually very odd that I can't hear it whatsoever. Um. Hold on. I'm trying to fix it. Since we have a beautiful on our screen, I figure this is an okay time for me to be fixing this because. I hate the fact that I couldn't hear the music because I actually enjoy the music in this game. And again, it's a B-Doof. Like, I'm not worried about a B-Doof. I can probably click buttons and beat the B-Doof. 
but I'm not going to try that method. That's not a method that I feel comfortable. I, I know I can, but I also know it's not a bright idea. But yeah, no, I like can't hear it at all. Interesting. That's a problem. That's very problematic that I can't hear the music. It says it's with this. Did I like, did it get turned down like way down? Or is it busted? I think both are, are theoretically probable. Not that I don't like. Because I literally just got these headphones like a little bit ago. Like they should not be having any issues whatsoever in displaying. Like you can even tell OBS is hearing it. I don't know what OBS necessarily is hearing, but OBS is hearing things. So did did this decide to shut off its audio? Oh, it is 100% the headphones. Oh. I figured it out. Da, 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 da. I figured it out. <laughs> okay, that makes me feel better. I was like, what the heck? Why is it not working? Why is it not doing what it's supposed to? That's weird. It should be doing this, that, the other. That's, we figured it out. We did it. We did it, folks. We figured out what we we're supposed to do and how we're supposed to use this. Yes. Okay. Anyways, we kill this thing. I don't think we kill it in one shot, but we kill it in two. Or confuse raise us, and then we have to actually land it through confusion. But should have known better. Should have known there was no way in heckles we were actually gonna do that. You have a life orb. Nice. You're a bit of. Why do you have a life orb? Also, why did we hit ourselves in confusion twice? I guess we're just going to heal next turn because it's going to kill itself with the life orb. Um, Yeah. I mean, if you're going to murder yourself with a life orb, we might as well heal and then just exit this situation. We'll just waste a grass pledge PV. We'll waste a coverage move. That makes sense. Good job, John. We love, we love making no sense at all. Yes, let's waste a coverage move while we're at it because you know we need that in our life. We need you know to get rid of coverage moves. Who needs coverage moves? What? What's a coverage move? Agron. <laughs> I was joking, game. I was joking. This is. Not great. Um, gonna go with my water type. It is a rock type normally, like a steel and rock. So not having me fighting or ground again. Agron is kind of a pain in the butt. Oh wait, there's no Mega Agron right now. I don't think is there, unless we've encountered a Mega Agron, and I'm just being silly. But I don't think there's a Mega Agron right now. I think it's only regular Agron, because Mega Agron, I would assume, and the assumptions are bad, but I would assume that Mega Agron would be uh, or Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, so I think we should be okay with Agrons. Pincushion Cat level 32, we're going to get hit by the burn first, and then we are going to be hit by a Smoocha. Satan. Honestly, Satan can probably take it out the rest of the way. We gotta use our shiny at some point, right? Like, what's the point in having it if you don't use it? Especially since it's shiny freaking Garatina. Like, that's I think what's the funniest part about this whole situation is my shiny is a Garatina of all freaking Pokemon in the world that I get. Like, I it's a it's a shiny that y'all are gonna kill. 
So like, use it while I have it, right? That, that's my motto here, Vanillaite. I don't really have anything for a Vanillaite, so we're staying in. It's literally just a baby Vanillaite, like, again, smooch up, like, that's what Garatina's job is to murder, it's just smooch up and Vanillaite, which is just... You would think that I would task it into fighting actual, like, threats, but nope, that's, nope, that is what this thing gets to kill, is Smoochums and Vanilla. <laughs> Pokemon that I shouldn't have any problems with, that I probably could just send a Delcaddy on, but, I mean, it needs the experience, Chestnut. Ha. Huh. Nick, get out here, you resist both stabs. Bow, 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 bow. Now, oh, Thaddeus actually pointed out something that I really was being dumb with because I was complaining last episode, two episodes ago, and I was like, oh my gosh, Venoshock does, Venoshock does nothing. Like, what the heck? And I realized that, or I didn't realize technically, Thaddeus was like, you realize you have 41 special attack, right? And I was like, oh, that's why I do absolutely zero damage. Bro, you have a freaking workup for yourself in Rototiller. Nope, you're getting killed right now. Bye. So yeah, so thank goodness that freaking Thaddeus said something or else I would have come, continued complaining about it. And so I, no, basically I just need to get a physical like cross poison or something like that and we'll be okay. But for now, I can't do anything. Servine. Well, I know it's staying in on a Servine. And we're Venoshocking the crap out of this thing. But I guess that's a big thing, right? Because I think Acid has a chance to leave with... Ugh. I think Acid has a chance to let you, like, poison. Or is it just the special defense drop? It might also just be a special defense drop thing. That's doing nada. It might. I don't know, but... All I know is that it really is not too big of a deal because it's like, okay, like nothing can nothing can attack you. Nothing nothing is in your way necessarily. So But yeah, we gotta go through Reflection Cave and I don't have Oh, I could probably buy repels though. Because post encounter I don't really want to encounter anything, and I don't know what level she is, but again, with my goal being to get to slash past Reflection Cave, I think it makes ultimately the most sense to go by repels because oh, that area is annoying oh we have access to super repels you know that's what i'll use my some of my money all my odd incense money going straight to repels so that we can have them throughout the game just in case so i can just like if i if i have a dungeon or a dun ooh, i've been playing a lot of persona if i have an area like a cave that i just want to run through i can do that with ease or with quote relative ease like this situation like of course i'm gonna go get my encounters too so that's gonna cut some time but like yeah like if i'm doing it with relative ease i don't have to oh i can get that berry that's a citrus berry i think yeah the fact that i can freaking name the berries like this is a that berry could chop me okay my encounter for this area is a azrael that's a fairy type down the road I'm not complaining. In my, I, I, I thought to complain. I was like, oh, it's Azrael, but then I was like, you realize it's a fairy type. You should catch it. Also, freaking, of course, Azrael. We, I don't. We, I'm not here to play these games, Azrael. I want you to get caught, and I want to not have to worry about you. This is how we're playing this game. And if you live this, then we can continue playing this game. But if you don't, then you're dead because I'm not dealing with you. I was happy to get a fairy type until the game literally was like, ha, you're not going to catch me. And I was like, you're right. If you don't want to be caught, I'm not going to put the effort in. <laughs> I don't have enough poke walls to put the effort in. That's, that's, that's literally actually the reason that I didn't put the effort on that. Because I don't have the poke walls to do such. A heal powder. <laughs> Yeah, like, if I had more Pokeballs slash money, then I would do it, but... Ooh, that's a Sky Battle. No, 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 no. We are not playing that game. Oh. 
I would have 100% put more effort into Sam than I did to freaking other Pokemon. Um, poor Azrael just got the terrible end of the stick there. Oh, wait, what? Oh, I need cut for that, and I don't have cut. Got it. Reflection Cave. What are we going to get in Reflection Cave? Mind you, the Woobat does not count. Like, if I encounter Woobat, that doesn't count. Um, ooh. Ferrothorn. Do I have a... I don't think I have a fire move. Either. Oh, no, I do. I do. I do it. Actually, I 100% do. Hi, Pincushion Cat. This is like your actual use right here is for fire, which is dumb because you're a freaking pincushion cat that shouldn't be used for fire, but pincushion cat is used for fire, okay? Yeah, it's gonna hit. It's not gonna bop this though because it's just a pincushion cat, but at least it does the d due diligence and murders the thing. And like, like that is, I think, if anything, one thing I'm very happy about with pincushion cat is pincushion cat actually has like and has slash and does things. That you look at Pincushion Cat, you're like, wow, Pincushion Cat just did that? What? Yes, Pincushion Cat does things, okay? I actually treat my Pincushion Cat with respect, okay? That's how that works, okay? Have you heard of it? Like, respect the Pincushion Cat. But yeah, I should probably and more than likely will encounter. Oh, I actually got a real encounter. Oh, <gasps> you were the devil in the last run! You are the devil in the last run. You're the one that you're the reason why this last this run, uh, the run freaking died last time. We are we are um we are definitely catching you because yeah, like legitimately, this is what caused the run to die because I did not think to uh, or I hit you physically and you're actually specially weak. So uh, yeah, that was my own fault, but also yeah. Honestly, Glaceon's a cool Pokemon, though. I like, I mean, that's quite solid backup, in my opinion, for um, what we have, or for Crag and all. Like, a defensive ice type is not something that's common, so the fact that we have it, and, and it's only sharing it with this Glaciate, but we'll make it share more later. When when we force it, when we force it to show us more, then it will show us more. But right now, we're not forcing to forcing it to do anything. It'll just chill out, hang out, kind of do anything. Oh, ally switch. That's funny. I like ally switch as a move. I know I'm like, I mean, that's because the Del Battle in me sees ally switch, and I'm like, oh, ooh, I can utilize. Wait, can I actually utilize ally switch? And I'm curious. Can I actually? If I use Ally Switch in a battle with Joy, per se, does that mean that Joy would actually be in control of my Pokemon and then I would be in control of hers? I'm curious now. Does that is that how Ally Switch works? <laughs> I want to know. <laughs> so badly. I wanna, I'm Snoopy. Because if I can control Samson, that would be freaking funny. And I don't, but I like, I think I get another opportunity. Wesley. Wesley is your name. I like that name. Wesley's put been put to box one. Cool. That's a good name for that Pokemon, honestly. We found Shoal Salt. That's a Sammy thing, actually. Sammy gets... You find Sammy in the um, the Shoal Cave. So that's funny that we found Shoal Salt. Magmarizer. Ooh. We can now evolve Magmar. That could end up being a plus later on. We'll find out if that's a plus later on, but... Um, I have a feeling it's going to be. Most of the time, like, those evolution items, I'll find the Pokemon that I want from that. I feel like that's always a good and positive when you can do that. It's like, oh, I needed this Pokemon for this. And it's like, yes, you did. Good job. Also, the fact that I had Jolly Roger in the front of the party today, and it, Jolly Roger's actually been able to be utilized on most of these first Pokemons. Pretty... So... 
So. Ooh. I've got to keep battling. It's a Zekrom, but. And it probably will hit me on the physical side, but I've got to go for the. Oh boy. Speed lowered. Thunder wave. Oh. I, I don't think that. I think that I'm going to be slower now. Yep. And it hit me physically. Uh, okay. We killed it, but still. Okay. Well, Thunder Wave is great. 1900 experience. That's that's also great. Jolly Roger wants to learn physical ice move. Nope. <laughs> Not learning that one, Jolly Roger. The fact that we I knew we were but again, I knew we weren't like Jolly Roger is literally helping so much. He is the Jolly Roger. Cause again, without Mr. Jolly oh without Jolly Roger, we would uh most likely be in a much worse predicament. Muscle band. Ooh, that's plus attack minus speed, isn't it? I'm finding out, but I think that's plus attack minus speed, which... Oh, no, it it's a thing that slightly boosts physical moves power. I mean, you know what? <laughs> we'll give it the pincushion cat. Why not? <laughs> I mean, we only use you for blaze kick anyways, so it works. That's kind of sad that that's the truth. I hate, I love hate the fact that that's the truth. Like, fire move? Yeah, if we need that, we'll go right into our freaking fire Pokemon. Or our normal Pokemon that is just has convenient fire. Fairy Aura. Also, uh, yeah, Jolly Roger murders you, so uh, more positives for Jolly Roger to be in the lead. <laughs> We're using the Snowflake very efficiently today. Like, Reflection Cave, you know. Here's the dumb thing. Oh my god, yes, we're staying in because the Snowflake kills you. Um, but, like, my literal thought process of leading Jolly Roger was, we're going in Reflection Cave. You can kind of see the reflection through Jolly Roger. So let's do it. It was my dumb thought process that's actually paying off. <laughs> like, again, I'm trying to work a lot on... Like, if my brain just randomly pops something in its mind... Oh, look, that Jolly Roger can handle it. <laughs> Okie dokie. Artichoke, bye. But yeah, so if my brain randomly just says, you should do this, I just listen to my brain. You should do this. You do that. And again, that's the thing. Like, Troll actually kind of taught... Not taught me, but like was telling me that, hey, overthinking sucks. You should probably not do that. And I was like... But it's so hard not to overthink, Troll. Like, and Troll's like, yeah, that's why you don't overthink. And I'm just like... Older brothers, honestly, like... But no, honestly, I needed it. Because, again, my, uh... My habit of overthinking was... Hitting a crux. And you guys could kind of see that a bit in the sleep lock, too. And I, I did felt... I felt bad when you guys kind of got to see that where you guys get to see my brain mentally freak out you guys see my brain mentally freak out i realized that this probably has its wonder guard ability i mean i'm not gonna test it um but yeah so you guys saw kind of me mentally freaking out and being like oh my god yes i understand i understand i messed up blah blah blah, blah, blah. even though like i didn't actually mess up but yet i my i had already predetermined the fact that i messed up um because of the fact that I had been told that I had done that wrong before. And so I made the assumption that just because, you know, somebody else has said it was wrong, therefore it's wrong kind of problem. And so, yeah, so Troll was like, don't do that. That's dumb. And I was like, yeah, yeah, it is. But it's very hard for me to just let go of that. So I'm practicing that. And honestly, this series has kind of helped me practice that. Especially the last of two freaking episodes. Because, like, 
I mean, some of my greatest decisions, not gonna lie, have come from being stupid and doing something stupid. Like, I mean, tell me in what world you would have thought that if I had a choice between a Chansey and a Sunkern, that I was picking a freaking Sunkern to be on the team. I just wanted to meme. And what better Pokemon to meme with than having a Sunkern on a legitimate Nuzlocke team? Like, straight up, that was that's the exact thought process that, you know, has helped so much. Because, again, without that, I'm, like, I'm looking at it and I'm like, imagine if I didn't pick Oogleblip. If I did not pick Oogleblip, how would my run have gone? Because it would have gone completely awry. and compl Not awry, but it would have gone completely differently than how it ended up in the end. So it's like, what what could have been affected by that? And I'm curious, like, what could have been actually affected by that? Because, again, a lot. The answer is a lot, but also by how much, the who's, the what's, the when's, the where's, the why's. <laughs> God. Jolly Roger is gonna murder this thing. Okay, Jolly Roger. Uh oh, nope, Jolly Roger's dead. Or not dead somehow. Okay, Jolly Roger. You just tank that for you face tanked that. Hmm. Spinarak. I mean, yes, it's a Spinarak, but also it's a Spinarak. Let's use our freaking Tentacruel for the first time. Is that actually the first time we're pulling out Tentacruel other than, like, the meme beginning where I was like, let's use it. Unless this is actually the first time, because I think this might be actually the first time we're using it. And it does no damage to a Spinarak. <laughs> Woo, that's not good. I mean, I know that this thing does not have much in the way of special attack either. But that's kind of an it is what it is kind of moment. Oh, we can heal, right? We have a super potion. Yeah. No reason to heal the freaking five damage on uh, Hentai, though. Do, 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 do. Oh, I knew better. I saw that and was like, maybe that's a hidden item. Ha, ha, ha. It's like, no, it's not, John. But, you know, good try. Good try to try and get a hidden item. I mean, maybe there's a hidden item here because sometimes they like to do that. But, nope, it is not the case. Um, But I'm snagging that. It's an escape rope. It's a Joy's favorite item item. <laughs> But that's a double battle. Okay. And a double battle, frailty matters. So as much as it's been fun having Jolly Roger in the front. Sorry, Jolly Roger. I don't trust it when there's two Pokemon that I have to deal with trying to save your life on. And considering that this is the final battle before freaking being able to fight Karina, nope, not doing that one. Honeymooners, you and Amy sent out Seeking and Shield on. Wow, I actually could have been able to be fine, and my Switch actually cost me some time. <sighs> Okie dokie game. You know, I try so hard, and yet I get dunked on with no hesitation. God dang it, game. I mean, I'll, I'll see how much damage I do to shield one because this is a freaking return. Yeah, that does nothing to that thing. I mean, not gonna lie, I don't think we can do anything to it. Wow, we really did get costed hardcore from what we decided to lead off with. Oh look, the Charty Berry came in handy. <laughs> I 
mean, it's probably gonna Diamond Storm again, not gonna lie. That would make the most sense, in my opinion. Nick wants to learn a double battle poisoning move. I don't know what base or the accuracy is. Ooh, it's 90 in this game. <sighs> yeah, buy the acid spray, honestly. I mean, if we can, that's a, that's a much better way to self-proc poison. Plus the residual, that that I'll do. 90% accurate, I'm okay with that. Especially because it hits in doubles too. So it'll hit both in a double bottle. Which, in this game, again, like I said, prepping for doubles is a good idea. So, I am not upset that I have to prep for doubles. Ah, oh my gosh, it is defensive as frick. I know that this thing won't take defensive hits much either, but I mean, time is for defense. I mean, it's, the thing is, is that this thing is that we're not going to do any damage to it either, or it's not going to do any damage to us either. Jeez, plus four defense. But yeah, like honestly, I can't hit it, so I just got to hope rain plus freaking. Yeah, we're good. Cool. Dino's 35. Ooh. I might have to turn up the experience share again. Because I don't know what level freaking, uh... That theoretically they want me to get... Or that I should get to. I feel like it's like 30-something. Sacred Ash. That's, that's a money thing, right? Like, it ends up being a money thing. Shalor City. Let's not use another one. But yeah, we are hanging out. We are in Shalor City. Um, I think it's... Jim? And then Rival Battle? It's Is it Jim, then Joy? Oh, actually, I forgot about this Joy fight. Whoopsies. But I do think it is... Um... Hi, how was your journey going? Hi, Shady. Let's compare a call of Slow Kalos. To put it another way, I'm challenging you to my own kind of Pokemon battle. So you've seen 47 kinds of Pokemon? I lost. How frustrating. Get this. I found some great Pokemon dancers. Oh yes, I just remembered. The professor told me to say hello to the Mega Evolution Guru when we reached Shalor City. That's right, he did say that. Yes, he did. Hmm. Who are we supposed to say hello to again? Bruh, you literally just got told. He's in this building. Also, usually a lot of people do this episode, like, differently. A new dance. Look at this intriguing stone. Cool, Tierno. That's the Tower of Mastery. Isn't it super cool? It, it is. But I believe that this is different, right? Unless, because I feel like it's a gym first, right? Unless I'm crazy, but I don't feel like I am in this case. Right? Dude, I don't remember the order of events. Oh no. Because don't you... Carp Shady Jonas. What a freaking legendary pair. Hmm. I feel like I'm wrong. I feel like I actually do have a fight here that I'm not prepping very well for. Uh-oh. Yes, I do have a fight that I'm not prepping for. Can I say no to this fight? Because I want to end the episode. Can I say no to Serena, maybe? Uh-oh. I think I oopsied. 
I do think I oofsied a lot. What? Just come out and say it already. I presently have only one. Ugh. Trainers don't get much better than you two. Oh, frick. We actually did the fight. Let's battle for it. Whatever. No. Oh good, we don't have to battle Joy, we can leave Joy on a cliffhanger. Hopefully you guys have a wonderful day. Um, yeah, let me go see what level I'm supposed to get to, but I have a feeling that I'm already basically at that point. So we'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye!